I find in telling my story and what I've been through, not only does it help me, more importantly, it helps other people. Because by hearing what I've been through, it gives them strength that they too can go through it. There are certain things I still keep guarded, but I have tried to be very, very open when speaking on this. And I have really dug deep and talked about everything in my life, holding back nothing. I'm actually the video, video um, videographer. That's, that's what I am, <laughs> the videographer. And yeah, and, and doing the, uh, I guess you would call it post-production. I'm doing the, uh, the filming of my coworker. Uh, he suffers from um, ADHD, ADHD, depression. Um, he, he, he was diagnosed with HIV. He also uh, is a recovering addict, ex-felon. Do you believe in recovery? Oh, with all my heart, uh, I'm the living proof of it. Uh, the living proof of what? Of that recovery is possible. Uh, you know, after 28 years of addiction, to be where I am today, I never thought I'd be where I am today. I didn't even think I'd be alive today. And every day, working with people in recovery, I see people make that transition into recovery and start rebuilding their life. And just to see the joy in their face, uh, that's what keeps me going. We're trying to actually take away the stigma. You know, people are people. It doesn't matter what walk of life they come through. You know, you gotta be um, understanding and compassionate just for people. People don't get that. You know, they, they stigmatized by the society's values or society's beliefs. You know, so we, we try to attack that. Oh, it's a great vehicle for a story because I can reach more people with a video than just going around talking about it. It's just, it's been fun, the process of learning how to do it, going over it. I will be honest, sometimes it has brought me down a little bit. Sometimes it's gotten too much into my head and I had to, I had to back away from it for a little while. Because sometimes when you think too much of the past, it can sort of bring you down. But I have a very strong support system and they brought me back up. And I think it's important that anyone that's gone through anything in their life Talk to people, tell them what you've been through, because it's only through education that we can get rid of stigma. What's scary, uh, it's really nothing scary. Uh, the, only, the only thing that I have to look out for is the time consuming. You know, it's, it's very, if you, don't have, if, if you don't have time, like this ain't your field. If you don't have patience, this isn't your field. You know, because it, it is very, time consuming it and and the editing thing is like you got to go back and forth back and forth back and forth oh you let me cut it right there oh damn i missed it you know so it is very time consuming but however it's a great experience you know because it, it taught me a lot of patience my partner angelo in this uh in this project his has been filming it editing it and i help with the editing and tell him what i like and what i don't like but for the most part i leave it up to him i sort of like i'm not really into the editing part of this i do love the other end i like to be on this side of the camera well what i like to do i like to open up a business <laughs> of a school no I, I what i would like to do is teach somebody teach somebody uh all the components that I've learned, you know, and maybe they'll, they'll uh, springboard off of that, you know. Um, right now, I'm just being used as a springboard, you know, and that's the term that I like because if I can give you the basics, you can springboard and get your own experience and do whatever you like to do, you know. Um, and that's what I like to do, and encourage them. You can do it, you know, go here, da, 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 and, do that, you know. Um, so that's what that's what I'm, I'm here for. Angelo and I have probably become closer than we have. We've worked together for five years, and we're probably closer now than we ever have. He knows more about me than anyone else, and I guess once people see my portion of this documentary, they'll know more about me. I want people to think or, or take away from my video that um, just because a person it deals with issues that you shouldn't attack it. You should understand it, and if necessary, retrieve some information about it 
so you can go about it the right way. I, I mean, uh, it's just, that's, that's pretty much it because um, they, say, they say stigma is an uneducated thought or an opinion. So we need to start educating people about different issues or different lifestyles or things like that because um, we hear it all the time. We hear it all, the, oh, he's gay, he didn't admit it. I, oh, I don't want to deal with him, you know, so, you know. That's, that's one thing that, that I would like to empower or encourage. As we progress in this process of recovery, we have to keep digging deeper until there's no more secrets left in us. Uh, because secrets can kill you. Secrets can destroy you. I always tell the people I work with, once a secret hits the light, it has no power over you anymore. It can no longer harm you because you're not keeping it in.